Tomorrow is the 46th birthday uh, for uh, Medicare. So we're having a birthday celebration. We're having it one day early. Probably we would have, you know, just went ho ho-hum, you know, 46 uh, uh, years of, of Medicare. That's nice, you know, and not thought about it until we heard of the attacks that are being made uh, in Congress, uh, especially in the, the House of Representatives, to uh, destroy Medicare by uh, privatizing it. The kind of message that we that we're trying to to deliver is that all the elderly as well as young people need uh, uh, need Medicare. It's closest to home though because of uh, my wife's situation. She's had breast cancer twice, and she was in the hospital this past uh, uh, November and December. And her hospital bill for three days was $35,000, which was covered by Medicare. And had we not been able to depend on Medicare, we would have had to, to sell our house and, you know, uh, you know, revert to poverty. You know. You know, I love being able to go to the doctor that I want to and go get the prescriptions for my wife or myself that I want to. We have. Uh, you know that are available for the Medicare and, and uh, it's been a great help and I know health care costs can be expensive the, it's, the prescriptions in our family probably gee, they run between ten and twenty thousand dollars a year and without Medicare what it, what would people do you know what were, what were, what were our kids and grandkids going to do if, they, if that gets cut back in my family there are three people that are unemployed we're asking the congressman to sign a commitment that they will not let uh, uh, Medicare be uh, devastated, that they will support Medicare. We wish that they would be champions of Medicare rather than sitting quietly and not uh, advocating for it. We don't need six Congress members uh, sitting in Washington, D.C. deciding whether Medicare is effective or not. We need uh, people who are the constituents.